Use Linux, macOS is complete trash. It's just some space consuming bloatware. And I wouldn't call a Windows 11 an upgrade, more like a downgrade to install spyware and data trackers to sell your information. Linux is the answer. Windows is malware. 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 Is Linux really that great though? So I wanted to put it to the test by installing a Linux distro on this really old iMac to find out if it can revive old hardware. That's where Archcraft comes in, which is basically an Arch-based distro. There, I will compare the performance, installing apps, support and more to macOS. So let's get right into it. So let's start with the boot time in macOS. I didn't really expect anything from this one, but it took around one minute to boot. I know, not great. And what about Archcroft? Well, this one was pretty shocking because it only took 30 seconds to boot. Yeah, that's right, 30 seconds. It literally halved my boot time. Next, let's compare the CPU and RAM usage while idle. macOS took around 8% of the CPU. And for some reason, it took around 3 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, I know, not great. Archcroft's CPU and RAM usage were pretty shocking. Archcroft only took around 800 megabytes of RAM, and the CPU usage was also pretty low. Of course, not everything was perfect. For some reason, I experienced a lot of screen tearing issues, even though I installed the right drivers. I didn't seem to find any solutions to that, sadly. But yeah, that's that. Now let's compare how easy it is to install programs on macOS and Linux. So let's start with macOS. The installation was pretty straightforward, but it's still kind of confusing how you install macOS applications. The application worked perfectly, but it kind of lagged sometimes. On Arch, I only needed to use one command, sudo pacman-s library office still. The performance was also way smoother than in macOS. So let's talk about gaming. The tool I used is called Classic Cube. It's basically an older version of Minecraft that's supposed to run on any hardware. On macOS with VSync on 60 FPS, it was pretty smooth. But when I turned VSync off, for some reason it said I had 300 FPS, even though I didn't. It literally lagged that much, I don't really know what happened. On Archcraft, it was also pretty smooth. I had uh, VSync on 120 FPS. But when I turned off VSync entirely, I actually had the 300 FPS and it did not lag. That was pretty weird, honestly. So, let's talk about customization in macOS. In macOS, you can only change the accent color, light, dark and automatic theme, the dock appearance, and that's basically it. In Archcraft, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, you can just technically use the default themes, but you can customize basically anything yourself. That means your bar, your desktop, and your terminal, it's all up to you. You just need a lot of time to configure it yourself, or well, steal dot files. So is it worth it? Well, yes, definitely, because first, the performance is great. Unlike macOS, which took around three gigabytes of RAM, took only 800 megabytes of RAM, which can be very practical if you have an older PC. It can give your PC a good speed boost. Next thing is that you have way more freedom than in macOS, since you can basically customize anything in your system, whereas macOS only lets you change minor things. Sure, some apps that may be only available for macOS or Windows like Adobe programs will not work, but they are mostly good alternatives. Linux can also teach you a lot about computers, and you will learn a lot when you use the terminal. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe because this took a real long time to do. Thanks for watching and bye.